So Santaki is a pretty, uh, pretty cool ship, at least aesthetically. But you run into the issue <laughs> immediately that its kinematics leave a lot to be desired, especially with that massive front profile. So up strafe, down strafe, whatever, coupled. You can see that it's not really pushing G's. We'll go ahead and do it uncoupled as well. We're talking 24 G's, tricord, up strafe 21. Um, not the most impressive kinematics, not the kind of kinematics that can take on an F8 or even a Hornet, really, a Gladius, an Arrow. Anything can out kite it, make it chase, punish it, and it can't really escape because of its enormous front profile. However, there is a way to make it the ship that we all wanted when it was sold to us. Oop, sorry about that jump cut. So, you can see I'm clipping the wings off here and removing the weights. Guy Sensei has given me permission. Okay, this one's a little stubborn. So, uh, okay, <laughs> we'll just fast forward this. A little embarrassing, but it's gonna come off. There we go. And now we're gonna see what this ship can really do. So you can see, we have the hovering little landing gear with the Jean technology, obviously. That's how that's working. And we're just going to rip forward at a fat 32 Gs. 32, 33 sometimes. You can see e even the turnaround's quicker. Look at that, how sharp that roll is. Look at that. Now we push, you can see 33 forward. A tricord. Uh, and these are just standard maneuvers as well. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm not even uncoupled. Like, I'm really looking at 15, 16 Gs. So these are really good. These are competitive. I mean, you could take on an F8 with this. Without a doubt. Can you beat them 100% of the time with that good roll they have? Maybe not. But you certainly go from, you know, ship that inspires genuine disappointment to ship that inspires genuine fear real fast this far superior maneuverability. I mean, I was fighting against some of our better pilots, and they were having a lot of trouble hitting me just with the uh, agility of this ship, especially at close range. This is the kind of ship that you could see having this enormous front profile because that's the conceit, right? You sacrifice that enormous front profile for uh, some serious maneuverability, something that this ship with those giant weights on it, just doesn't have. Real quick, let's just take a peek at what the upstrafe looks like with the, uh... Denied. With the landing gear landing tucked gear in in detail mode. It does look ridiculous this way, which is, you know, a big shame, but... Yeah, I mean, look at that, 33. So this is competitive. This, this could fight a Gladius. This could fight a... Fight a light fighter and not get demolished by, you know, by range, by really good range control. This thing could actually push. I'm not sure if I would, uh, you know, I'm not sure what I would do if I was CIG, maybe just seriously reduce the mass on those, uh, those arms or whatever they are, the, uh, the struts if possible, but I mean, as is, unless they want to make them invincible, uh, that's how I think we'll be seeing the, C the Santok Yai flown in the PU when it launches. Personally, I'm the kind of person to err on the side of fun, so I think allowing for uh, those struts to weigh a lot less and giving the ship that sort of extra kinematic boost that it needs would create a much more fun, uh, dynamic flight style that I think most pilots are really fond of and would be a kind of maneuverable answer to the F8. If you're if you're good enough to hack it, you can take that thing up against anything, but if you're not, it's just a big target and you're going to die. And I think that's what people liked about the Cartoon Wall. I think it's what people would like about this ship, and I think that's what people like about Sean ships in general.